Hello everyone, today I want to show you ah, this. I'm not going to see that. Now I need to turn on the lights. Okay. Oh, look. There we go. This. It's an ASG Spaz 12. You're, you're probably already crapping your pants. You're like, we have some an ASG Spaz 12. It has a stock on it. Yeah, it's Tokyo Marui stock, custom mounted. Awesome, right? Let me press that button. I like to use it. When I have the stock out, I like to take off the hook. You just push it in and pull it to the side where it faces backwards and then it comes out. You probably figured that out once you got the Tokyo Marui stock. But there's the gun. I don't know why that is so bright. That is so freaking bright. It got two shells right here. But here's the gun. Lock that for you. There you go. Here's the gun. And it shoots. It's just really, really, really hard to <sighs> pump that thing. It's really hard though. Just fast 12. And there's different modes you can make it look. See, like this would be Left 4 Dead. I mean, what? Am I stupid? No, this would be Fortnite. This is what it looked like in Fortnite. And Left 4 Dead, it would look like this. And you've probably only ever seen this, like, twice. No one ever custom mounts a uh, Tokyo Marui Spaz 12 stock onto an ASG Spaz 12. No one ever does that, okay? But I did. Well, I did. I, I did not do this. This is none of me. This is just my dad. Yeah, that's cool. And there's the hook. This is what it would look like in Left 4 Dead. When you're playing that, you know, that zombie game that no one plays no more. You know, that's what it looked like. Look down the barrel. Oh, I can't see anything, right? Yeah. And in Jurassic Park, it looked like I just now showed you. With the stock folded out. And no hook. This is what it looks like in Jurassic Park. He's just looking around for, you know. The clever girl. And here's a little lever you can pull it out to, to lock it. You see that? Show you a little bit closer. See that? And you push it in to unlock it. And then you can use that. And there's this little button right next to the trigger. See, there's the button. Right there. Yeah. So right now it's on fire. You can see that. And here's the little breach you open. Here's the shell. You close it up. You can only fit one shell, but it holds, I believe, eight BBs. I haven't tried this thing out yet. And you just hold it like that, and you just, you know. And then you just, gah. You know, you just like, I hate trying to do that. But there you go. This is really cool. You're probably thinking, why the heck didn't you just buy a Tokyo Marui? I don't know. Because I didn't care much. Nice, right? You just fold this over. And then there you go. Spaz 12. Looks nice, right? I'm just trying to get it all up in that sunlight. See that? Looks nice. It's got the little uh, heat shield. On the side it says Spaz 12, so it's right. Rocky Spaz 12. I don't know if you can read that. You probably definitely, definitely can't read that. Yeah, you, you totally can't. But nice, nice shotgun, huh? Oh, let me see if I can do this in one hand. I have to get my hands dry because right now I'm sweating for absolutely no reason. Yay! Just holding this thing makes my hands sweat. Yeah, there we go. I just Rack it with one hand. Yeah, see, there we go. There, no, it's not my hand is sweaty again. Yeah, there we go. See, I can rack it when my hand isn't sweaty. It gets even the slightest bit sweaty, and then you know, can't rack it. Well, I, I just have to do that every time I shoot. You know, that makes this really super annoying. Christ. Yeah. That's the uh, that's the size wolf. Why the heck is that 
it's so bright. It's like my camera just, wow, it's acting like it's seeing heaven or something. Here they go, there's the shotgun. I bought this shotgun, uh, the stock for it, and it came, I'm trying to think when it came in, I ordered it from all the way over in Hong Kong, and I'm trying to remember, oh, I'm doing the calculations, pretty sure it took five days to get here, and I live all the way, you know, in, you know, in the United States, it'd take a long time, but normally it would take like an entire friggin' month to get here, right? No, it only took five days to get here, and that's what I like. I got it on airsoftgogo.com, yeah, really weird name for a website that you just want to sell airsoft guns for, but it was some kind of Chinese-based airsoft website. And there you go, so, there goes the shell. These are the really, really big shells. There you go, that's, uh, that's the ASG's best 12. Oh, cool thing, it's got a sling mount up here. But sad, I had to get rid of the back sling mount. See there? Probably can't see that. Some roughed up edges right up there. It's really rough right there, there used to be a sling mount. We had to remove it to install the stock. I feel I have no I have no regrets. I didn't need it. I didn't have a sling. Plus, it looks better without the sling. It looks the, the awesome it's ever looked. Would not I mean with the stock off, it would be half life. I could take the stock off. I need some. I had to go get some more of that hardware stuff that we used to put it on. But yeah. HG Spice 12 with the Tokyo Marui stock mounted right on top. Custom mounted. You, you have to like plow through all this. I couldn't even show you how we had to do that. But we did it. Plus, I'm going to tell you something. Right here, these bolts that hold it in, we had to do it through where the screws were. See how the screws? You probably can't see. You can't. There's screws on the handle. Oh. Uh, up on the top and down the bottom on the right side, and there was, there was a screw hole right here, but we just had to drill straight through there to put the bolt in. It was a really good place, too, because then we got the little spring. To make the spring stay, we had to use some freaking, uh, I forgot what it's called, it's called like E6000, I don't remember. It was like a, some kind of glue. My dad had to get some plastic, put it in there to keep the glue there. We had to heat it up in the oven for like, at least two hours, and then I was like, Dad, what you cooking? He's just like, drop on peace. So, here's the weapon. Not the weapon, more like the weapon to get the neighbor's dog out of your cat's food bowl. Everything about this just looks cool. Awesome. Sometimes the Tokyo Marie one won't have uh, an orange tip, so, you know, they might just get confiscated by the coppers. So don't ever buy a Tokyo Marie one. They normally don't come with an orange tip, and that's legal for an airsoft gun to not have an orange tip. So, cool, right? Later.